Hi, this is Gary Kay. We're here at ISE 2024 on day one. I'm here with Sean Langley in, Len in the Lenovo booth. And of course, the Lenovo has become a big factor in collaboration. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Gary. Um, welcome to everyone to ISE 2024. Of course, another year, Lenovo are here, bigger and better. We've gone for two stories this year on our booth. Lots of exciting products, lots of different concepts um, and cool designs. And yeah, looking forward to taking you around the booth and showing you all about it. And we're going to do a booth tour as we walk down the steps here. I'll follow you. We're going to do a booth tour of the Lenovo booth. And remember that what we're going to do is we're going to show you, we're going to show you what it's like to come here if you're not here at the ISC show to see, see what it's like. But we're going to shoot individual product videos of everything we're talking about. So if you want a deeper dive into any of these products, all you got to do is type in Lenovo in the video search window at raypubs.com slash ISE. All right, so we're downstairs. You have a meeting area upstairs. It's, it was packed full of people, so we got to come down here where it's, and again, packed full of people. What do you got in here? So at Lenovo, we have lots of different partnerships and different alliances going on. This is a special new partnership with a company called Buzzy Nest, and it's all about small, collaborative, but well-designed, acoustically treated spaces where um, people can quickly just go in for a quick touchdown meeting. Now, we have a product called the Think Smart View Plus, and that's the product that we would be recommending to customers to use in there for that quick ad hoc meeting, or maybe a bring your own device um, using your laptop and just have a quick call, you know, do some content, or even just chew the fat, a couple of people in there. You know, it's nice, acoustically treated, gorgeous looking. Um, it's actually available in two sizes. Walk around it as we're Let's talking here. I think what's interesting about it is yeah, a lot of the co-working spaces have like little phone booths like exactly, this, yeah. but they, you can't put two people in there. You're a little bit un uncomfortable, but in here you can have a quick two-person meeting and they have that privacy. For sure, two, even maybe three. Um, like I said, there's a smaller version, which is more of yeah. like an individual pod. Um, you'll be pleased to know there's air conditioning available on some when yeah. it's permanently installed and yeah. stuff like that. But um, yeah, I see it's a very um, common and uh, fashionable thing for offices to have those kind of little yeah, booths. I love it, like I love it. I love that you're uh, showing this on the show floor and how easy it is to integrate technology. I mean, obviously you've got the the Think Reality, Think Pad, Think Vision is part of your collaboration platform. Absolutely. So, you know, we are one family at Lenovo. We have a thing called One Lenovo. So that's all the different technologies, the different business units coming together to offer um, different solutions. So you can see we've got the Think Reality headset there. That could be actually used for like a, a, a Teams meeting because it's got cameras on board. That, that kind of AI, AI, um, AR, VR emergence can be, uh, you know, integrated in many different ways. You know, it's connected to a P16 laptop. ThinkPad, strong brand we all know. We've got Workstation in here. Um, just, you know, the, the products are just coming through thick and fast, all sorts. Yeah, and obviously uh, AR, VR, XR technology is getting popular as a potential future way to do some collaboration in a more immersive way. Absolutely. Uh, and I definitely see that uh, sort of like transforming the industry quite a bit as that develops, but it's still emerging. Yeah, there's still early days, but I think it's important to get these technologies right before it becomes a, you know, a, a true day-to-day -day thing. And not every business needs that kind of thing, yeah. but those that do, it's important that it's done properly, it's intuitive, and it's easy for everyone to just join in and collaborate using the technology they feel fit. And what do we got here? So um, this is part of the Chrome OS digital signage area. You know, so we're looking at, it's an example of retail digital signage, um, showing off some really funky trainers, sneakers, whatever you want to call them. Um, it's Chrome OS solution running on a, th a small thick station um, signage player, if you like, which is a small form factor PC. Obviously low power consumption, low heat output, as you'd expect. Is that, a, is that a purpose built version of it for signage or can you use any? I believe that's a purpose-built version because, you know, you, you don't need a fully-fledged workstation yeah. that you might be doing regular tasks for. You know, this is just playing the right content at the right time wherever the signage solution is um, installed. And in this case, it's building a canvas based on the resolution of the, of the player, of the uh, display. Exactly. So, like, that would be done in the cloud um, using the configuration tools. You say, right, I want this many displays in this orientation. I want that signage showing there. And then you build that around a schedule. And at certain times of day, the signage will change. And, you know, it kind of is intuitive and kind of reacts as time goes by that way. All right. Let's see. Where are we going next? Um, let's have a quick look. We've got um, wayfinding solutions. Um, so, again, this is an example of a show that just took place last week in London. That was the BET show in London XL. Um, so, you can have intuitive wayfinding. It would show different areas. Imagine you're in a shopping mall or something like that. You need to know where to go. You can touch on something and it would okay. move around. Gives you more information on there. Again, we're calling it a smart kiosk, um, this device. Um, and, of course, 
that can be programmed and configured to as big and as complicated as you like or a nice simple one map and you just get more information about it you see just moving back and forth around for the selection if we're going to meeting room should see some think smart meeting products no nope, that one's not working oh sorry it's a red only red esports lab lenovo legion It'd be great if we'd have had some of the gaming uh, stuff on the lab here, but you know we can only accommodate so many uh, products in one space. But it's all, it's all run from one PC. All run from one PC. Yep, fully customizable. Of course, you could have multiple PCs and multiple um, smart kiosks in different areas, but it only takes one PC to run this. Excellent. All right. So we're heading over here into a little meeting room area here where you're showing your complete collaboration solutions. Absolutely, so um, this is my area of expertise, even more so, because I work in the Think Smart product range. What we're looking at now is the Think Smart One. That's the only all-in-one Teams or Zoom Rooms device running on Windows. Really small form factor, incredibly powerful. It's powered by the Think Smart Core, which we'll talk about and see some more about shortly. And it's connected to the Lenovo IP controller. So that's a PoE-based control panel, sits on the center of the table, single cat cable, goes back to the bar um, below the display. Yeah, and the, and the bar below the display here. I noticed it has a clock there. I love that feature because uh, does it? can you also program that to count down a meeting as well? Currently, no, but that's been requested by a lot of people. Yeah. Um, it's one of those features, I call it, uh, you know, some people love it, some people hate it. And I'm a clock watcher. Yeah, so I if I go it. into a meeting, I'm sat there like, I might watch it. And you don't see that usually on a video yeah. bar. But I think it's a good prompt because if you're presenting in a meeting, sometimes yeah. you can, you know, talk for too long perhaps. So it's nice to have that prompt in there. And certainly the feedback since we released the Think Smart One last summer, everyone likes the clock. No, yeah, not I, many people say remove it. I love it. And also, uh, if I get our videographer to zoom in there a little bit, you'll notice that it has a physical camera. Um, privacy uh, shutter. A, pri a privacy shutter. Yeah, yeah. So um, that's key. And a number of our products have that. And certainly the same with the ThinkPads. And I get asked, why is it not automatic? Well, simple thing about that is if it was automatic and motorized, someone might think it's manual and they might move it themselves yeah. and then that could uh, break the mechanism maybe. So we always have manual privacy shutters, yeah. gives people that peace of mind. Even though the camera's not on, they can just be calm. The, the, the camera is hidden behind the shutter. Nobody can see it. I love the Think Vision uh, and the Think Smart concept here. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a it's, it's really a collaboration board all in one solution. Absolutely, and again, it's part of that one Lenovo message. We can supply all the components inside the meeting room now. The Think Vision T-Series displays, they're available in three different sizes. So what we're seeing here is the 86. This is the big daddy of them all. Um, then we also have a 65, slightly smaller, paired with a Think Smart One. And then in between, we have the 75 inch. The camera's modular, so that can be removed. You could use yeah. different cameras with it. It has microphones built along the top, and it has speakers and amplification along the bottom. The Think Vision displays can be used on their own. Bring your own device. Simple USB-C cable on the front, connect a laptop in, or of course, paired with a room system like we have now to give you a full Lenovo solution. Excellent, I, I love it, I think it's simple. And also the USB can actually power your laptop and run the presentation at the same time. Absolutely, one cable, charging, camera, microphone, speakers, touch, all job done. All right, as we move around here, uh, we see a different form factor and partnership. Yeah, so um, Google Meet. We've been making uh, Google Meet room systems with Google now for a number of years, obviously powered on Intel. All of our devices are powered on Intel chipsets. It's an i7 on the Google Meet compute there, incredibly powerful. Um, many customers using Google Meet, they love the aesthetics. People are like, wow, this, yeah. look at this microphone. Look how cool that looks on the table. You know, Google obviously were very integral in the design element of this, and they were like, you know, we wanted to look a certain way, great. And then we were manufacture it you know, to the high standards you expect with all Lenovo computes and hardware. And what's interesting is that I'm glad that you showed this because um, a lot of people don't think of it. They think of you an Intel company, not a Google company. Yeah. Well, we, you know, we're friends with many companies. We want to be friends and working with many different UC platforms, you know, Microsoft Teams, Google, Zoom, the three big platforms where all of our devices will work in that way. And your uh, management system, here's your management platform here that manages all your rooms and devices. Yeah, absolutely. So think smart manager. Um, this so any uh, Lenovo ThinkSmart compute could be enrolled in ThinkSmart Manager, uh, and that gives you day-to-day, real-time remote access and KVM access onto a device. So, typical scenario: if there's ever an issue in a meeting room, um, that could be flagged up in ThinkSmart Manager. I think that's the TV that's going to auto power off. Oh, we'll find the remote in a minute. I don't yeah. know what it is, but you can see we, we can. I'll ThinkSmart One that's displayed over there. We can access that. But with, key thing with ThinkSmart Manager, it has, harnesses the power of Intel vPro. Intel vPro is amazing, it's so powerful. I could probably talk for half an hour about that, yeah. but what we could do, 
remote onto the device, remote control it anywhere in the world, wherever you are, anytime, you get full real-time remote control of that room system when you need it. And it's room control and device control, right? Absolutely. Yeah, right. everything's on there. Vpro does everything. It's wonderful. All right, let's uh, head over here and uh, check out the outside of the booth over here. And you've got a, you have an actual conference room built here. Um, is this is this uh, team's front row? This is front row, yeah. So we got a mock-up of front row on the it's go. 32 by 9 aspect ratio because you're using two 16 by 9 displays. Yeah, absolutely. So you might reckon this guy, I recognize this guy here. This is some recorded content of us ready for this. But what I want to talk about, this is our signature room. And we got a brand new product on display underneath, and that's the Think Smart Bar 180. It's a partnership with Jabra. Many people will be familiar with the Panacast 50. This is the same device, just under the Lenovo ThinkSmart brand. So that means you've got the global availability, you've got the warranty services and support you get with all of our meeting room devices, making it perfect for small and medium-sized meeting rooms and giving that front row experience, 180 degree field of view, quality products. And you've got uh, a controller here, and I think it's interesting, because it, this is this obviously uh, seems room certified because you got your HDMI port right here on the table, which makes it easy for anybody to connect to the system. Absolutely, Gary. You know, we include a dedicated HDMI ingest port on all of our computes. That's something we standardize on there. And team certification, of course, is crucial for that. And yeah. we have that. Yeah, that's great. And uh, you're actually showing a, a version of Teams front row uh, here. So this is an actual, this is how it would actually be used in a real conference room. A lot of times I've seen it in sort of the simulation mode, but you're actually seeing it in a real application. Uh, simulating a meeting. Yep, real world. This was um, one of our twice monthly team meetings. Uh, many of my colleagues I see on this on the screen now. So yeah, just showing the same look and feel as what you would get um, if you're having a front row meeting with your colleagues. Uh, and uh, what, we, what else do we have to see? Have we seen everything? Are yeah, we going to head? Yeah, we got some more products on there. Let's All go. right, let's head, let's head this way over here. Let's go to the corner of the booth over here. So and we're showing a different meeting product. product. Yeah, Bar 180, this is with the 75 inch Think Vision display. We're just showing like a kind of bring your own device set up here. Just a Bar 180, small Lenovo um, docking station, and then connected to the Think Vision T Series 75 inch. Full touch control. Um, you can leverage all of the power and the great AI features in the Bar 180. Very simple one USB-C cable. And well. this is your docking station there? Absolutely, yeah, that's one of our smaller size docking stations. Of course, we've got a full range of different size docking stations. But this, you can see, is very small, compact, single USB-C cable. We got touch, we got everything we need to do on this device, um, you know, with just one cable, really easy. Simple solution. What is the Think Station? Well, this is our flagship model in the Think Station range. This is one hell of a PC, if I may say. So. <laughs> Designed in conjunction with Aston Martin, experts in the motor industry. Um, the cooling, the air cooling in this has been designed specifically to handle the power of this device. Um, dual Intel Xeon processors in here. You can have, I believe, up to two gig of memory in it. Um, this is really designed at like high-end content creation management. You know, it's basically a server inside a PC case. It looks amazing, but you get, there's so much to take into consideration when you build computers like this because you've got so much technology as you can see inside that. We've got four GPUs running. Yeah. Nvidia four GPUs. NVIDIA GPUs. Like the power is just like unparalleled. So serious bit of kit. I'd love one in my house if I can. Uh, yeah. you know, For, I can imagine the eSports you could play on this would be oh. fun. Oh, wow, it'd be amazing. You know, and uh, probably keep my house warm with all that nice heat being dissipated. Yeah, I love the, uh, tr the heat dissipation right here. It's, it's a serious device. Yeah. Dual redundancy as well, so it has dual PSUs in there. You know, a, a, a high-end product like this, you expect everything on that. You know, it's got the workload demands and are really high, so therefore every attention to detail has been made to provide like one of the most serious PCs available. Yeah, and that is available, right? That's an actual shipping product. Absolutely. So that's the P10. We also do the P7 and then the P3 series. So there's different levels of it, but this is the flagship, you know, the boss, if you like. This is the one you're taking home. Um, if I can fit it in my suitcase, yeah, I'll try. <laughs> All right, Sean, thank you very much. This is great. I appreciate the tour. And we're going to go around and actually now go shoot individual product videos at each one of these stations so we can give a deeper dive on all the products you've seen here. So all you gotta do is go to raypub.com slash ISE and type in Lenovo in the video search window. Got a lot more to cover, and it's all at raypubs.com.